So what will the difference of just 2% in capital growth mean to the future value of your home or investment? I'm going to use the case of a um, Bondi apartment purchased as an example. Now this year in 2020, your average Bondi apartment's worth 1.1 million. It's been growing in value at about 7.5% for the last 10 years. But if we choose a property to purchase this year, we're thorough in our research and we find a place that has superior aspects, superior location, parking, we do our DA checks to make sure it's not going to be built out. And it exceeds the suburb average by just 1%. If we sell it in 15 years' time, it's going to be worth 3.7 million. If we were instead to make a purchase that doesn't tick as many of these, or perhaps none of these boxes, and we achieve only 6.5% growth, which is still very respectable, but is a difference of 2% below um, this purchase, We'll sell in 2035 in 15 years for 2.8 million. That's a difference of $900,000 in cold hard cash. So you can see 2% really does make a difference. With property, you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. So it's really important to front load all of your research and all of your effort at the beginning when you make your purchase. Choosing the right side of the street, choosing the right place in the suburb, it can mean the difference of 2%. And you can see what that 2% is in hard dollar terms.